or Mika for those of you who do not know me. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber or you are not subscribed and you watch my videos, welcome back. With that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you are alerted when I post new videos. Before I continue rambling on, I want to thank Dossier for sponsoring this video today. And if you would like to learn more about Dossier, which you should, stay tuned until the end of this video. So today's video is going to be a fun video for me and I hope for you too. Um, so basically, I created my own abstract textured art pieces and I am so proud of the way it turned out and I hope that you like it too. So basically today, I am going to take you through the process of how to create your own abstract textured art um, because let's face it, this art can be quite expensive. So I thought it would be fun to create it and share it with you. If you don't know this about me, I love art. I've always loved art. I have also always loved fashion. So um, I've been drawing since I was a little girl and I have not stopped drawing since then. <laughs> um, I actually, I will show you some of my own art, but um, I think I touched on this in one of my um, older videos, but I've made that video private, so here we are. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah. So I was looking around for some of this art. I just wanted to buy it because I'll be honest with you, I didn't want to put in the energy to go buy everything I needed to create the art. So I decided to go ahead and buy the supplies that I needed to create it. And I have been looking for some wall art lately and oh my goodness, it can get pricey. So yeah, that's how we got here. Um, as soon as I saw some of the pieces, I was like, you know what? I am an artist myself. I can create it on my own DIY video. So yeah, here we are. So anyways, I found some YouTube content creators that I really ended up liking and I will put their names in this video. And I want to thank them for being on YouTube because they really helped me out. Um, but anyways, I went ahead and combined some of the techniques that I found and I kind of came up with this one that you're about to see. So I want to take you through the process. I will show you the supplies and I may also put them in the description box if I can find all the supplies and put them below for you. Um, if not, I'll just type it out and then you can just go to the different sites and find it on your own. Um, whichever one is easiest for me to come by first. <laughs> so anyways, so without further ado, let's get into this video. <laughs> All right, so let's talk supplies. You will need acrylic paint and a canvas, or in my case, I bought a three piece canvas pack a putty knife set or a putty knife and a paintbrush or a brush set. You will need spray paint, which is optional for a border and spackling paste. And you will also need painter's tape, which is also optional if you want to create a border for your art. So I've already done two, but I left one for you to see my process. This part is optional if you want to create a faux border for your art. If not, you can skip past this part. Um, but I am starting off by creating my border with my painter's tape. You can eye this part. I just thought about how thick I wanted my border to be and I went with that. Um, just make sure not to overlap the tape where it runs off the sides of the canvas because I made that mistake with the first two and I ended up having to go back and spray paint over the white spaces left from the tape. So now you're going to spray paint your canvas. I used a piece of a cardboard box to stop the paint from getting everywhere. That's just a little helpful tip. Um, I chose the color black for my faux frame because it fits well with the decor in my room. You can choose whatever color you want. You can choose black, brown, silver, and even gold. 
Um, and one of the videos I watched that actually inspired this video, the lady spray painted her faux frame gold and it turned out great. So now I am just removing my painter's tape to reveal my border. Um, I let this dry overnight and this is what it looks like. I also cleaned up the areas where the paint ran just a little with a little bit of white paint. Okay, so now you are going to take your spackling paste and apply it to your canvas using your putty knife however you want all over your canvas. You can use Pinterest or Google Images for inspiration if you don't have a clear direction for your art. Okay, so here is my first completed piece. All right, so now we are moving on to our next piece. While I did look up inspiration for what I wanted my own art to look like, I didn't follow any of it. I just kind of winged it. So here are my completed pieces. I let this dry overnight and I think I honestly came back to it a little too soon because I was being extremely impatient, but I would give it about a day or two to dry. Thank you. 
So it is the next day and we are ready to paint our textured art. One helpful tip I received from another video that also inspired this video was to paint over the spackling paste with um, a white acrylic paint to prevent or minimize chipping in the future. Um, you also have the option to just leave your art as is and completely skip this next part. So I guess technically paint is also optional. So I actually purchased several colors for my acrylic paint. I chose Burnt Umber, Ivory Black, Parchment, Unbleached Titanium, and Titanium White. I only ended up using Titanium White, Ivory Black, and Unbleached Titanium. Um, I used Titanium White all over the canvas so that I could coat my spackling paste. And the other colors I just kind of used as like accents. So here I was just kind of going with what I was feeling. I didn't have a specific plan or anything in mind um, for where I wanted this paint to go. I wasn't even sure if I wanted to put any color on this um, canvas, but I did anyway and I love the way it turned out. So here are my completed pieces. I am so proud of the way everything turned out. I know I keep saying that, but I was so nervous the entire process. I was so afraid of messing up and there really is no right or wrong way to do this. It's all about preference. Okay, so moving on to the sponsor of this video. If you are not familiar with Dossier, Dossier reproduces luxury scents at a fraction of the price, keeping the exact same high quality by cutting all the expenses and the infamous brand tax. They offer a risk-free system, allowing you to try their perfumes before committing to them. So that means that every bottle comes with a sample that you can try and wear before unsealing the 50 milliliter bottle. And if you decide to return the scent, they offer a standard 30-day return period in which you can return the 50 milliliter Dossier perfume and get a full refund. No questions asked. So Dossier is extremely affordable. Their scents start at $29. Um, they offer free returns and exchanges forever. They offer great bulk deals on their website up to 25% off and free shipping for three or more bottles. And they're always adding new scents to their collections and are always thrilled to take suggestions from customers for new releases. So that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think about my art in the comment section. Be nice. Um, also, don't forget to check out Dossier. Um, I will have their website linked below. I will also have the perfume that was um, featured in today's video in the description box as well. Don't forget to use my discount code when you go to purchase your own perfume or um, clone or whatever. Um, <laughs> my discount code I will put up here somewhere and I don't know what else to say. I don't know why I get to this part of the video and I never know what to say. But anyways, um, definitely come back and join me next time. And until then... Bye!